Dr. Donnie here from the Missouri City Branch Library and welcome to today's virtual middle grade program. I'm going to be taking you through another how to draw video and today we're going to be drawing that girl. Before we get started today I want to talk a little bit about the planning process for drawing. So one of the things that I'll do a lot of times when I'm creating fan art like this is I'll surround myself with a lot of source images of the character so that's easy enough to do if you just go on to Google Images and search for pictures of Batgirl. Decide which costume you like, which one you want to draw, and then start to think about posing. Now, for poses, what I do is I create what are called thumbnails. And you can see some examples of them right here. Now, thumbnails are just tiny little black sketches, uh, silhouettes really, shadow pictures. Uh, that are very small and you do them very quickly to try and narrow down what kind of pose you want to do and then you pick the one you like and blow it up and draw it bigger. So that's what I did today. So without further ado, let's uh, grab our pencils and some papers and get started drawing that girl. All right, so let's get started. We're going to begin by drawing a line through the middle of where her body will be. And then the chest is just gonna be kind of this oval shape with this flat rounded bottom. And then we'll make two lines for the stomachs and connect them to the hips, which we're gonna use another circular kind of shape. For the shoulders, we're gonna draw two circles for the shoulders, and then we'll make a line going up through the neck and the head. The head is gonna be kind of an oval, upside down egg shape. And then we'll connect the neck to the body by adding two lines on either side of our singular line. To draw the arms, we're gonna make like a circle where the elbow is and another where the hands go. One of the arms is gonna be behind the body and the other is gonna be straight down to the side. Uh, we're gonna connect back up and thicken these lines to give it kind of the forearm shape and the upper arm shape on our arm that we can see on her uh, her left side here and then her other arm we just have to draw the beginnings of the forearm and the hand. Uh, the legs are going to go off the screen so we just going to kind of draw the thighs connected to the hips for that part. At this point we're going to start adding some more detail so we're going to draw kind of a face map on our head line across the middle of the brow line one for the nose and then I'm going to gonna loosely draw the shapes of her eyes and the bottom of her nose here and just a little bit of a mouth and then her ears. The ears will fit between the eye line and our nose line. And then we're going to add a little bit of indication of her hair and a couple of little triangles on the top of her head. So it's the top of her Batman or her Batgirl cowl. At this point, I think we're ready to start adding some more uh, fine details to our drawing. So I'm going to switch to a different color so it's easier to see. I'm going to switch to this green, darkish green color. And I'm going to start to go around the outline of the face and the ears to kind of define their shape. That girl has this cuff around her neck. Uh, so I'm going to add that. It's going to add a little thickness to her neck. And then I'm going to define her chest and start to draw her shoulder pads that connects her cape to her jacket. Uh, her jacket has a zipper down the middle, so I kind of use that middle line to help draw that, but I add a little curve uh, to show the ch uh, where the chest belongs. And then I draw the bottoms of the jacket, which is kind of splits open where the zipper holds it closed. I'm going to add a few wrinkles to the jacket here, and I'm going to start to define these pouches on the, on the sides of her hip that are connected to her utility belt and draw the belt itself connecting to a large pouch on her other hip uh, connected to the side of her leg that has a little belt on the side of it too. I'll draw the cuffs of her gloves and then start to define her hands. Now the hand at her side is very easy because we're looking at the back of the hand so all you have to do is draw the knuckles and you don't really have to draw each individual finger. The other hand, however, is a little more difficult because we're going to have to draw each finger. So what you might want to do is kind of make a fist and hold it up and kind of look at what it looks like or find some references to closed fists like this online. Uh, 
One thing you can do that's a handy trick for drawing hands is if you have a camera or access to a cell phone camera or a digital camera, you can put your hand in that pose or have someone else put their hand in the pose you like and take a picture of it. Makes it much easier to draw hands in different poses when you actually have a reference for exactly what you're looking for. So we're going to continue to add details here. I'm going to draw the, the rope she's holding. It's going to be her batarang or her grappling hook. Uh, Batman's very good at uh, uh, branding everything. So everything's got a bat or in the name or a bat shape. Uh, I actually drew the rope going up to the wrong side of the hand. I will fix it later. So when you're drawing, you might want to hold off on drawing the rope for now. And then I start to define her hair, and I'm going to go back up to her cowl and start to define her mask. Now, the openings in her mask are wide enough to where you can still see her eyes and eyebrows through it. Unlike Batman's mask, where it basically covers the whole face and his eyes are just kind of like little triangles, this mask is actually a little more open, which is great because it means you can get more emotional depth with the character through their eyes. Uh, whereas Batman, he's pretty much always looks like he's angry because there's only so much you can do with his mask being so close to his eyes. Kind of darken the eyebrows a little, go back and define the fingers some more. I'm gonna draw, her pants have these black stripes on the side, so I draw lines for those and start to define her eyes a little better. I'm gonna start to draw eyelashes soon. Uh, and the rest of the zipper, I'm gonna actually draw the zipper now at the top. And then here we're gonna start to draw the logo on her chest, the bat logo. So what you're gonna wanna do is pull up a picture of the logo and really get a good look at it when you draw it on her chest. It's gonna be foreshortened a little, so the side closer to her arm that's held down is gonna be a little longer than the other side closer to uh, her chest because of the way she's turned. I'm going to start to add her cape behind her and draw the batarang as well, which is also basically the same as the bat symbol, uh, but the rope is connected to it. Notice when I draw the cape, I don't hesitate to draw a line right through because I'm still sketching at this point. I'm going to draw a few more details on the belts and the pouches and then the eyes. I'm going to go back in and start to add some eyelashes and the pupils and I'm going to make her give her a little grin in her mouth like have part of her mouth open uh, to show a little bit of that attitude she has. She's got these zipper pockets on her jacket and some patterns on her chest here and soon we're going to be moving into our final details and drawing in ink. This is when we start to really slow down. Now you don't have to use ink, you can use just darker pencil lines, but you really want to move slowly and kind of get all your shapes and your forms in nice and detailed. We start add like little lines inside her ears, the show the lips and really get those eyelash shapes on our eyes that we want, and the pupils in the eyes. Uh, and make sure we get everything we want in the hair. We're gonna add a lot more lines to it get all those buttons on her jacket. We're even gonna add some stitching around the edges of some parts of it and draw in the zippers. And these are gonna be our final details. Now you notice I continue to add new details as we go. For, at this point, I'm gonna to continue to go over my lines and darken my sketch. I'm gonna add details as I need them and I'm gonna fix a few problems. The big one being the rope. Originally, I had her holding the rope with the line going uh, in the top of her hand and out through the bottom, when really it should have been the opposite, where the rope will go up through the bottom of her hand and over the top, so that way she could presumably swing her batarang around and throw it. You can't really throw it the other way, it just didn't seem natural, so I changed it. Uh, these are the kinds of things that you realize sometimes even this late in your drawing. So, once I finish all my lines, I get ready to move on to shading. So now I'm going to start shading in things that are completely black. The cowl on her head is black. I do leave a little white line for a highlight on all these and on her lips as well. And I'm going to start adding shadows on parts too. So under her neck is going to have a shadow on the side. I'm going to add some more lines into her hair which shades it in. The part that clips her cape to her jacket is black, so I shade that in. 
And then I had a shadow under her arm and on the side. And the parts of her cape that are black, I make black. And these stripes on the side of her pants are also black. And you just kind of think about where your light is hitting from and add shadows on the opposite side uh, or where a shadow would be cast, like the inside of her leg there, on the back of her arm there, in the back of her hand there. So usually what I'll do a lot of times is draw kind of a shape of the shadow and then I'll shade it in with little lines, it's called hatching. Once I finish up my shading in detail, my my, my line drawing is complete. This is the point where you would probably want to go over everything in marker or pen that's in black and get it real dark. And then you could erase your pencil lines that you didn't want to keep and get rid of all those extra excess lines. So at this point, I'm going to start to add color to my drawing. I've got all my uh, pens uh, done and completed. And all we need to do is put a little color to it. So the best bet is to pull up, uh, again, some source material, pictures of Batgirl, and see what color everything is. I've already done the black parts in black, so it's really just everything else. I start with the yellow. So for yellow on Batgirl, you're gonna get her uh, logo on her chest, her utility belt is yellow, her gloves are yellow, and the inside of her cape is yellow. So, so her cape is kind of dual colored. The back is black and the inside is yellow. And all those buttons on her are yellow. Batgirl, Barbara Gordon, is a redhead. So I'm going to use kind of an orange color for her hair and her eyebrows. And then use a, a peach color to kind of fill in her skin. I fill in the eyes with kind of a cream color and the teeth as well. And then the rest of her suit is kind of a bluish gray or a navy blue color that you kind of shade in. Her eyes are green and I use a little bit of kind of a, a gray color to do her uh, to do the metal parts so the batarang that I didn't shade in and all the uh, the zippers and then the last thing I do is I take uh, a white pen and if you don't have a white pen you can use maybe white out uh, woodwork or white paint uh, and I add some white highlights to my to my drawing so in her hair I give her a little shine a little shine on some of the black parts of her uniform and on the metal zippers just a few little highlights and details and little glares in her eyes as well uh, and that's kind of like the last little detail I do. And then you always want to remember uh, to sign your drawing. All right, everybody, that concludes today's drawing lesson. So I'm going to leave you today with a really quick version of the time lapse video for your Batgirl drawing. I hope everybody had fun. Make sure you tune in next week. Same bat time, same bat channel.